I'm trying to look at solutions to address the gun violence directly and not be overshadowed by a court order that is not going to be enforceable. I'm telling you that right now. It's going to waste our time. I want to make sure that we have real solutions to battle the gun violence. So that was the sheriff of New Mexico's most populous county responding last night to the governor's controversial gun violence order, calling it unconstitutional. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham last week declared a public health emergency and announced a 30-day ban on carrying firearms open or concealed in public areas in Albuquerque and its county. She issued the emergency order after the shooting deaths of three children this summer. That includes an 11-year-old boy shot and killed outside of a minor league baseball stadium just last week, as well as mass shootings in the state. The Democratic governor's move is facing push pushback from law enforcement officials and gun rights groups. At least two organizations have filed lawsuits arguing that it violates the Second Amendment. It's nice to hear that there's organizations that are fighting back against this governor. We all agree that the, the governor has overstepped her authority and is actually in violation of the law. And I don't know what her thought process was that she suddenly thought she could trample the Second Amendment. Well, she's a politician. Do politicians care about the freedom of speech or the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms? I don't think so. Time this morning. And let's get to exactly that. We just heard from the sheriff. He joins the attorney general and others who say they won't enforce it. It's unconstitutional. Why do it if it can't be enforced? Well, that's their opinion. They have no bold actions. They don't have any plans for reducing gun violence. Well, in their opinion, they'll be the ones who will be enforcing your gun suspension. And they know they won't be able to enforce it because they probably don't have the police. And the gangbangers, they sure as hell won't abide by the suspension. Injuries uh, in the country, 90% higher than the mm -hmm. national average. We lost 143 children between 2017 and 2021. It is unacceptable, and it calls for immediate and swift and bold action. And frankly, the evidence bears out over and over again. Fewer guns on the streets makes everyone safer, and I'm focused on everyone's constitutional rights, not just those the NRA says I should be focused on. Fewer guns on the street, but are the gangbangers going to obey the suspension? No, it'll be the law-abiding citizens because they're the law-abiding citizens. So all you'll wind up doing is disarming the law-abiding citizens. Has any law enforcement officer in Albuquerque or the county actually enforced this yet? Well, we haven't uh, have issued any civil penalties, but that doesn't mean that we're not and that we don't have the ability to do that. But that's and a no, right? This is the pushback I get from every single... Well, it's, it's a long-winded way of saying no otherwise known as the politician's way. And if not this bold action, making sure that you're safe going to the grocery store, you're safe going to a baseball game, you're safe walking on a hiking trail. There are individuals, including young people, where it's illegal today to have a handgun, openly carrying handguns. My question to law enforcement is where are you? Where are you? Probably understaffed, underpaid, probably on another case, busy somewhere else, because they're understaffed. Annually in Albuquerque alone, you are not safe going to work, getting your prescription drugs, or going and to a public park, and it was- So if I'm not safe doing all that stuff, how would I be safe, easy, if I was armed? I could protect myself. Work to get at both the drug epidemic and the gun violence epidemic. Look, and, and it's not for police to tell me what's constitutional or not. Well, you should be able to read the Constitution. Also, gun violence, drug epidemic, you want to solve them? Go after the gangs. Also, she says she cares about the kids. Well, if a drug dealer gets caught selling to kids, that drug dealer should get the death penalty. Anybody else's, and it's not a ban. It's a temporary pause okay. so that we can make this community safer. It's not a ban. It's a temporary pause. Yeah, for 30 days. And then it'll get extended for another 30 days. And then another 60 days. And then another 90 days. And on and on and on until it's basically a ban.
also state. have, Governor, the Constitution of, the, of New Mexico and the Constitution of the United States, and you're an attorney. That, uh, sound. It was a sound of disgust, in my opinion. That's how she thinks of the Constitution. I had the right. I have the but right. Where is the right? Where is the in right? The okay, well, this video clip goes on for another five or six minutes, and I don't want to make the video that long. So I'll just post a link to the video, and you can watch it full if you want. But other than that, take care out there in clown world.